Hello, my name is Dr. Mike Scanlon, and I'm just going to talk you through a process, a philosophical way, I suppose, of finding a way to work with thoughts that helps us make sense of them. I'm going to share with you something that was written by the great Viktor Frankl many, many years ago, actually. He came up with this phrase, between stimulus and response, there's a space. And it's in that space that our freedom and our growth lies. And what I've learned over the years is that quite often what happens is we get an emotion shows up a fear emotion, a sadness, an urgency. And instead of responding, we get this sort of sense that this emotion, which is sort of the vehicle that carries the inevitable thought that is also at times of difficulty, inevitably judgmental, self-critical, very unhelpful and it carries the emotion carries that thought as though the vehicle carrying that emotion and that thought is going at 100 miles an hour what i mean by that is when we get an emotion and a thought together there's almost like an immediacy i've got to get this sorted straight away i must deal with this thought i must make it go away i must think something else, I must do something about it immediately, really fast. Not true. Nearly always, the sorts of thoughts that we get, accompanied by that difficult emotion, are based in the future. So they're worries about stuff that hasn't happened yet. They're worries about things that may not even happen. And so, if we can do what the great Viktor Frankl suggests, we can find by using our mum reset click in our mind, or if we can remind ourselves to do some wonderful belly breathing and to just stop and wait, and to create some space between that stimulus that we're feeling so that it's not an immediate reaction, it turns into a response. And in finding that space there, and in losing that sense of immediacy, it allows us to step back a bit. And in that space there, it allows us to find some growth and some freedom from the dictator in our minds very often our inner critic, isn't it? Full of shoulds, oughts, musts, and what ifs. And usually hugely critical. So let's see if we can get this right. When we get overwhelmed with a feeling of emotion that's accompanied by a very difficult thought, we need to smile. And we need to remind ourselves that there is no race, there is no immediacy to getting this sorted. So we need to recognize the need to A, create some calm, and B, to create that space. And once we've created that space, we have a smorgasbord, a whole menu of choices about the way I might meet this emotion and this thought. And we find those choices. And in so doing, we create a degree of psychological flexibility. And actually that flexibility is where we find our freedom and our growth. So let's remember when we find a thought that pushes its way in with a sense of immediacy, there is no race. We can take our time. 
Let's remember to breathe to create that time. Let's deliberately on purpose, mindfully create some space before we look at how might I respond to this thought? And this will take time. But once you get good at this and it becomes a new way of responding to difficult thoughts and feelings, then we're really going to start making a difference to our mood. And we're going to start to grow as human beings and learn that actually we have many, many choices. Where five minutes ago, it felt like we had none. I hope you're going to be able to really work at this and get to a point where you too can find that space between stimulus and response. Thank you.